Welcome to the Units and Conversions module. This particular video is just being made for interest only. It's part of the introduction to the unit and it's looking at how the conversions that we just look up in a book have been derived. So looking at the first question, we need a conversion to take us from megameters to meters. So on one side of an equal sign, I'm going to put one megameter. And on the other side, I'll balance that by putting in the true meaning of, of the prefix mega, which is million. So I'll replace mega with the, with the number a million. And now I've got the conversion. One megameter equals a million meters. The second one's a little bit trickier because the word milli means a thousandth. So, one milligram is equal to one thousandth, and I'm writing that as a decimal. So, one milligram is equal to a thousandth of a gram. So, if we times both sides by a thousand, then we'll have a thousand milligrams is equal to one gram. Next question, we need to convert from kilograms to milligrams, which is a fair bit more difficult because we're not talking about a base unit as either of those quantities. They're both, they're both uh, units that have been derived by using a prefix. So we know from the previous question that it takes a thousand milligrams to equal one gram. And we'll just remember that for a minute. Now let's go to our one kilo. It's the largest amount, so we should be starting with that. So one kilo, the word kilo means thousand, so one kilogram, we can replace kilo with a thousand, is a thousand grams. But we know from, from this little bit of work we did here before, that one gram is the same as a thousand milligrams. So one gram here can be replaced with a thousand, which is just represented by three zeros, milligrams. So in other words, it takes a million milligrams to equal a kilogram. Question four, we're converting from nanograms to grams. We know that one nanogram, if we look up the prefix nano, it means a billionth, or one over a billion, or as a decimal, 0 0.000000001, a billionth of a gram. Remembering that it's a billionth, and we can times both sides by a billion, which is a number that contains nine zeros. So that makes one billion nanograms equaling one gram, because a billionth times a billion is one. And the last question, we need to get a conversion from gigameters to kilometers. Okay, gigameters, very big unit. Giga means billion. So we know that one gigameter is equal to a billion meters. We also know that one kilometer is equal to kilo means a thousand, a thousand meters. So if we group like this, basically those three zeros and the meters is is representing a thousand meters so we can think of this as being one kilometer so we now have one gigameter equaling a million kilometers